everybody, Harold here. I'm going to start a new series on Power BI. I said in my last video, I'm going to start a project. I have changed my mind. I think I'm just going to focus on what I think are the coolest things in Power BI. So, without further ado, today's topic is slicing in Power BI. Let me do a couple visuals real quick. This data is just some made up data I made for the Acme widget company. I'll start by putting in a clustered column chart. It's going to drag date to the x axis and revenue to the y axis. We'll take a year off here, leave quarter, month, and day, and in the legend, I'll put the I'll put the salesperson's name. Expand that a little bit. Uh, let me add a card down here. We'll just drop in total revenue. And I think I'll put that up here. I uh, don't usually do this. I don't usually use these bright colors, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the bright colors and I'm also going to use a pie chart. We don't usually use these because they do not represent, the slices don't really represent very well the percentages. In the pie chart, I will put sales ID in the legend. And say count of product in the values. And let's do another one. Let's do a tree map. One more on here. Where's tree map? Remember to click off your visual to put another one in. Tree map. Uh, let me move this card down here. So, tree map. For the tree map, we will use the region for the category and count of region. We'll do probably find for the values. So now we have these four visuals, and let's talk about slicing. Well, we could use a slicer from the visuals. Let's slice by uh, customer ID. Well, it gives us this sliding slicer. Which is nice, but I don't really like the sliding slicer. Let's format our visual slicer settings, style. You can do vertical list, tile, drop down, these other ones. I like tile. Get a nice set of tiles here. One, two, three, four, five on my customer name. Customer IDs. So that is your standard slicer from the visuals. So if I click one, all these values change for that customer ID number one. So on, two, three, four, and five. That's not the only way you could slice. You don't even need the slicer a lot of times. If you click on any of the colored areas anywhere, they are their own slicers. So if I want to go to quarter one, this changed, only sales there, sales ID, this is all my quarter one. Quarter two, so on and so forth. Just click on the colored column in the column chart. Click back off. 
Same with the pie chart. Sales ID 412. And what he's done. Everything changes. The card here is just for demonstration purposes to show you that changes. Uh, same with the tree map. It slices by region. So I can slice multiple ways. It's all these different things to get exactly what I want. Now there's one more I like and it's not technically a slicer. That is the bookmark page navigator. Let me show you how that works. So I'm on my sum of revenue by quarter and name. Got date fields. We can drill. This is important. Drilling up and down so I can go quarter. Month day and I can go back up the quarter which is where I'm going to start so I say bookmark quarter and month are already in there I'm going to add day to show you how it works hold on I have to take that back off delete you go to the day view drill down to the level you want here's the day view not really necessary but we're going to include it for demonstration purposes. So I say bookmark. Add. Bookmark 3. Rename. Call it day. Okay. Now. Go to our insert menu. Buttons. Navigator, bookmark navigator, and it made me a slicer for quarter, month, and day. Put this, I'll put it down here, put it between here, move this over. The trick with these is, and it took me a long time to find someone to show me. I'm, clicking and wondering what was going on you got to hold control down when you click these so now i have a quarter month and day slicer hold control Okay, so there you have it. Multiple ways to slice in Power BI. Like I said, I'm only going to do stuff I think is cool. I might do more on the page navigator and the other buttons next. Might do something else. Thanks for joining me for this one. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe. I'll see you next time.